Hi everyone, welcome back. In my previous tutorial, the Modbus LCD HMI could only display the operating parameters of the DIY Arduino PLC. In this video, we will modify the program to allow real-time changes of the parameters and display them on the LCD. Let's get started. Kindly subscribe if you've not done that already and also press on the notification bell. This way you always be notified whenever I upload new videos. Okay, the circuit still remains the same. The only add-on is set of push buttons to access the menu settings. Okay, so we change these converters so that we can display on and off instead of ones and zeros. Okay, I bring a multiplexer, two of them, connect to the selection, change the first input to off when my bit is zero, and then the second input to on when my bit is one. I do the same for the second multiplexer, and then on as well. Okay, I wire it up just as shown. I now copy the two multiplexes, move to board 3, remove the conversion blocks, and then paste the multiplexes. Why is that such? Now we, we need to assign the inputs. So we change the screw to pin 6 and then menu up button. We move on. We select pin 5, activate up and down, we select left, and this is pin 2, we assign for the next pin, pin 3, right, and then we do same for pin 4, enter, and all remember you need to activate the pull up and the bouncing. Pull up the bouncing activated, and this is our exit. Okay, we create a new variable, but we need to activate the bouncing here as well. Create a new variable, there's our set, and it's a Boolean variable, and it's always false by default. We create a new board in between 1 and 2. We bring our enter, and then our as it's buttons, we bring our set variable as well, and then we bring a set reset, and then a timer, two on delay timers, position it correctly, wire it as shown, okay, and finally wire it to the set variable. We need to give it a delay of 3000 milliseconds, and same delay. For the second and this will delay our enter and exit pin we need to note them okay we disconnect and then we need to do a new variable or let's say a new logic to enable our display so and gate we bring the sets and then the counter comparator also there we copy and then repeat for the next board which is board 4 delete this very section introduce the new logic which is an AND gate introduce the new logic into the next board which is board 5 and then introduce it into the next which is board 6 there are two function blocks specific to mod bus operation first is setting the slave address and second is the special features which is the setting of the port speed, number of ports, and then we have the port priority, and then number of stop and then start bits. We will be using the setting the speed. We have from 0 to 11 on the chart, and we will use it as such. So we will move on. We need to first bring the menu block. So we bring the menu block, and then we need to create two calls 
and this is our memory bits so we'll create first one memory bit one assigned to four memory bit two assigned to five as well okay i open the menu block and then change the name to settings i click on okay i have a sub menu i change the name to memory bit select group and then select boolean and then specify on for bits one and then off for bit zero i create my next which is memory bit two on for bit one zero for bits off and then i create a new menu which is our holding register select group and then click on the sub menu and then create my first sub menu which is the hr1 max of 100 then create the next one which is my holding register 2 maximum of 100 as well and then i create next menu which is my mod bar settings select group select sub menu and then slave address which will start from 1 to 255 and then move on to create the port speed which will start from max of 0 to 11 okay i go to control select these options i go to this section select these options and then output and then select this option as well it's done so we can see i have my block with seven inputs and three outputs okay i bring all my inputs starting from menu up menu down right left and then my enter and exit okay i wire them up quickly okay good and not all of them right click on it and then select not we need a display so i bring the display in and then wire it up and then i need to display this on row one and display this one the first one on row one the second on row two okay i take this not off and then bring the condition to display them which is our set condition good and now move on and then bring the values so that we'll be able to change the modbus values okay i assign this particular menu to reach which is the slave address okay i move to the second one and I assign the board speed to it okay good and now move on and bring the settings and then the port speed blocks double click on it and then activate all these parameters leaving it as one the second one double click activate them as well and leave it as five okay good i wire it up great i now need the number change block i bring the number change block and then wire it to this first input of the block and then the inputs output of this other block as well i need a multiplexer and then set it to 12 and this will help us display the values that we've selected that is the port speed so wire it up quickly and now assigning the assign it as an integer and then assign 300 that is going to be our start or when zero is selected 600 when one is selected and so on and so forth i need to do all that looking at the list and then the final one is going to be my 115200 board rate okay great okay great so i wire it up nicely and then bring two concatenation blocks where the converter output to the input and then assign address to the second input and then wire this one up to the second input and then assign ports to this particular input as well okay good i need to display so i bring in a display block two of them position them correctly connect the output of the concatenation block to the inputs and then need to specify the condition to enable them i copy this particular condition position it here 
and it needs to be activated at count five and then I wire it up quickly position them correctly assign this to display at one and then this to display at two okay great and now change this count value to six now create a new board I now need to specify how I'm going to change the values on the mod bus so I bring the menu values and then activate the enable pins assign the menu to them the first assign bit 1 to the first one assign bit 2 to the second one as well position them correctly and then wire it up okay great and now bring the enter key to be the enable condition and then not it I need to repeat the same for the holding register as well so I create a new board board 10 pull the holding register variables out enable the bits enable bits and then assign this one to holding register one and then assign the second one to holding register two wire it up and then bring the enable condition as well and the key connected to the enable pins not it Great. I click on the now we can see that I can scroll through the system and I have all my parameters displayed now I create my logic on the open PLC editor I have all my variables created okay I bring the first item which is my relay one relay two and then relay three so I change the names and then bring my input so when my memory bit 1 is activated relay 1 comes on memory bit 2 activated relay 2 comes on and then to get relay 3 on I will need to compare the holding register value to a constant so I specify 10 when the holding register is equal to 10 or greater than 10 output 3 will be activated okay great I click on the upload I select my and then change my ID to 2 and then change my board rate to 115200 and then click on save and I click on transfer and then transfer this one to my Arduino PLC great so I have the PLC loaded and connected to my display now if I click on the menu we can see that the addresses is there by default is 19600 now if I hold down the enter key I go into the settings mode and this is a mod bar settings if I press enter I can see the slave address I can now specify the slave address and then I change it to address 2 which was specified in the logic and I come to the port and then change it to 11 which will correspond to 115200 press enter to accept and then hold on the exit key for 3 seconds and then we are back into the main menu we can see the input register changing indicating that it's connected I move to the holding register is 00 the address now change we have 2 and then 115200 okay call status 0 and then my input one is on so we can see on and then the other one off as well okay great now let's do a quick test I hold on onto the enter key and then I enter into the settings mode I go to the memory bit and then I can now turn on memory bit and see let's see if the outputs will come on as well I press enter and we can see my first output has come on I move to my second bit select on and then press enter we can see the second bit on to as well and then I move on to the holding register or the memory bit again okay I move back into the main menu and then if I scroll through 
we can see that the call is indicating that two of them are all on my input status okay i move to the address we can see the address there i move back into the settings again so that i can turn the memory bits off i select off and i press enter to turn it off i move to the second bit select off and then press enter to turn it off great now we need to test our holding register i move to the holding register and then accept it and then change the holding register one value to 10 and then when i accept it with the enter key we can see that the third output is on now i now drop it to six and then accept again and we can see it's going off indicating that our comparator is also working as such i exit and now when i scroll through we can see that the holding register has a value of six in there great you now have a working hmi interface see you in the next tutorial bye bye